Welcome back for another Polygon Matic Prize Prediction Analysis and in this video I will be sharing my next prize targets, give you areas that Matic needs to continue holding and also discuss my next trade setup and before I do so show some love by first giving this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and also check out the channel membership. And at the time of this recording, Matic is holding above a key area of support at around the 0.7114 dollar mark, which is now acting as support for us to continue gearing up. And soon I'm expecting Matic to give us a break above this descending trend line that we have here on the charts. And the moment we manage to break above it, I will be watching for a 4 hour close above this descending trend line or maybe see a successful retest. And then from that point, I can continue expecting higher prices, having my next target areas at around the $0.784 mark, where we have a very significant area of resistance. And if by any chance we manage to break above that, then we can expect Matic to get us above the $0.8 mark. And that is the next trade setup that I'm watching out here on the Matic chart. And the moment we see a break above the descending trend line with a 4 hour close or maybe a successful retest, then from that point I can be able to open a long trade having my minimum target areas at around the $0.784 mark, having my stop loss at around the $0.6835 mark which is the last low that we have here on the charts. And to give you my analysis basing it on the edu 12 structures, if I zoom out, you can see that after seeing the 10th of June crash, giving us a low at around the $0.52 mark, we started gearing up obeying the edu 12 structures, where we first picked in this 1-2 setup. And after seeing the 1-2 setup, we continued gearing up obeying the edu 12 structures, where we have now picked in the formation of this wave 1, seen a breakdown move in the formation of this wave 2, then we saw this massive pump in the formation of this wave 3, then a breakdown move in the formation of this wave 4, fully maximizing minimum target areas highlighted on the charts using this red target area. And there are high chances that we now have a low in place for this wave 4 and soon we are going to start gearing up impulsively in the formation of this wave 5 and giving new minimum target areas for that wave 5 by connecting the trend based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 then dragging the fibs to the high of that wave 3, I get a minimum target area for the wave 5 at the fib level 0.618 and that is at around the $0.9863 mark and that is the minimum that we can expect that wave 5 to the upper side to do. So that is what I'm keeping my eyes on on the short term here on the Matic chart and that is my next trade setup that I'm also keeping my eyes on. Also taking a look at the indicators on the RSI we are trading at around the 42 mark, fully supporting higher prices. On the MACD we have been able to print a bullish cross, also fully supporting higher prices. So let's be patient and see how that plays out and I will be keeping you up to date.